Hello children, a very good morning to all of you. Today we will learn Social Studies Chapter No. 1, Soils of India. In this lesson, we will learn about the importance of soil as a natural resource and the types of soil found in India. First of all, I will read out the chapter and you all try to follow me. Okay. Plants grow in soil. Animals depend on plants for their food. Thus, all living things on the earth depend on the soil for their food. We also depend on the soil for many other things. In many villages, people used to mud the mud to make the walls of their houses. We make clothes from plants like cotton and jute, which in turn need soil to live. Most people in India depend on agriculture for their livelihood. So, soil is very important to us. It is one of our most important natural resources. Mm. Soil provides a place for plants to grow. It holds water in place for their roots. So, without soil, we would not be able to grow any crops and in turn have any food on our tables. Soil also provides a home for many animals and other living things. Okay, is it clear? Now, formation of soil. Rocks on the earth are broken down into small pebbles by rain. Flowing water and the roots of the plants. These pebbles break down further to form tiny bits of soil. Wind, rain and rivers carry the soil to different places. Remains of dead plants and animals mix with the soil to make it fertile. It takes more than a hundred years for nature to make just one centimeter of soil. So we will learn about the formation of soil. Soil is formed over a long period of time. It can take up to thousand years to form just an inch of soil. Soil is mainly made up of four things. Rock fragments, dead and living things, water and lastly air. The parental material, which is generally a huge rock, breaks down into smaller pieces with the help of rains and winds. Next topic is types of soil. There are mainly six types of soil found in India. These different types of soil are suitable for growing different types of crops. That is why such a wide variety of crops are grown in India. Number one is alluvial soil. The next is black soil, red soil, laterite soil. Then is desert soil, mountain soil. These are the six types of soil found in India. Now we learn soil erosion. Sometimes the fertile top layer of the soil is carried away by wind and water to different places. This is called soil erosion. It makes the land infertile. Roots of plants hold the soil together and prevent soil erosion. We cut trees for fuel and to build farms, cities and roads. This is called deforestation. Deforestation causes an increase in soil erosion. Planting trees or afforestation is the most important method of preventing soil erosion. Covering bare farmland with grass or dried vegetation, terrace farming in hills and building embankments along river banks are some other methods of preventing soil erosion. So, we will learn here about soil erosion. Soil erosion is a natural process in which the top soil of a field is carried away by strong wind and water. So, how can we prevent soil erosion? We can prevent soil erosion by growing or not disturbing plants. That's it. Okay. So, I think that's enough for today. Take care. Bye-bye.